All right, Dave, big show. We got a big interview coming up here in a second. Um, King of Richards Fair, one of the all-time Barstool videos. We got a character from King Richards Fair. I'm excited to talk to the sheriff. Yeah, the sheriff. We got Sheriff Allen. So actually, let's just move into that. Here we go with Sheriff Allen from King Richards Fair. All right, so now we're joined by Sheriff Allen of King Richards Fair. Sheriff, thanks for joining us. I love the beard. Looks like you're just ready to go. Uh, how you doing? I'm always ready to go. Doing quite well in yourselves. Doing good. Dave, what's it like to see Sheriff? Do you remember him? So was he, my recollection of King's Richards Fair, and we've told this story a lot, is so I got invited to like judge originally the wench contest, I believe. Um, so we all went and we made a video and we we're having fun with it. And Big Cat was fake killing people. Um, and at some point at King Richard's Fair, it, it, it turned serious in which the police came up to us and they're like, you guys are in trouble. Shut the, so this was, they're like, shut the cameras off. You guys, if you keep fake killing people, like you're going to jail, it's still unknown if they meant jail or the King Richard Fair jail, but whatever they meant, they were serious. They were like, you guys are are not being good citizens. And, and we really didn't totally understand what was going on, except I know Dan was killing people, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> ah. oh, Oi. Not today. Sure See, punch it. Be with the Oh, it's Frenchy. <laughs> and I guess they didn't like that is how I remember. Yeah, a little bit. But um, let, let me give you a little background. Um, from what I, I know the guy for security, we talk uh, often, being the sheriff, he lets me know about things that may be a problem. Um, I was warned about your group going around randomly killing patrons. And I was told to go on over and kind of assess the situation, see what was going on. Um, you know, being the sheriff, I go around, I get people shit anyway. This is my, my bit. So I came over and just wanted to make sure that you guys weren't, you know, really harmful or anything. And I, I saw that you, you know, you, you guys were just having fun. There was no, no problem about it at all, really. But wait, it definitely turned because when we got in trouble and I don't know if it was you or somebody else. It, no, it, no, it, no. It, it was the security head of the security guard there. Uh, he is a little humorless. Um, he just uh, was upset because, well, the management got on him because they were getting some complaints about you guys. Got it. So, so yeah, that's that was what he, think. Yes. he needed to be the hard ass to come in and make sure you guys were not going to cause any problems. Right. And, and the, what what caught us off guard. If you followed us, there was no like real <laughs> knives being put. It was like a standoff. And we have the video Dan with like fake put the sword across somebody's throat. They oh, fake yeah. die. But then again, the, the head of the security was like, you guys are going to be in big trouble. And, and we were a little off guard. Like, well, if we get put for real in a jail that may not really exist, are we just kind of stuck in some sort of bizarro world in between <laughs> real life and fake life jail forever no i think the best they really could have done was just kicked you out of the fair that would have been about it if they were really going to be a hard ass about it but you know as you saw you guys were still there um you know i, I tried to tell him but i mean you know when management gets involved then there's really not much he can do. He had to come out and do what he did. And, and I don't know if there was some sort of code to killing people too, and it was like too random. But because as far as I know, like everyone that I saw that we killed did in fact pretend die. So like you know the sword would go and they'd like go down, and I'm not so sure they wanted to die at that point. But it's like okay, we just got killed unfairly in this world. We have you can't just take a sword to the throat and not you know oh, show course not. we always got a yes and is what we call it yeah you you go along with it you play with what you know people are doing but if if you notice you look in the video you look in the peripheral you can see some of the people starting to watch what you guys are doing 
and they're like, okay, uh, what is going on here? And yeah, you you were definitely on the radar for a little while at that point. I thought it was a good reference. It's one of the all-time favorite videos for our fans. I think if you watch it as an unbiased person, you're like, this is a pretty fun place to go. Like, we were fully engrossed in the spirit of King Richard's Fair. King Page Views! Thank you. Yep. Oh, you guys were having a great time. I saw. And, uh, you know, I, did, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Well, and, I... and, you know, reviewing the, the video and everything. And even when I had met you guys there. Well, I appreciate that, Sheriff. But, like I said, when management gets involved, there's really not much we can do. Yeah. Sheriff, in general, how many people show up to King Richard's Fair and get a kind of aggressive like that? Does that happen often? Oh, goodness, yes. Far too often. Um, I, I've had many confrontations, even at my size. Um, you, people get a little bit too much of the alcohol there, and they feel like they're Sir Lancelot or something. And that's a big part of it. I mean, they have the big jugs of beer. And, and even when I was there, oh, it's yeah. like the wench contest, you know, is probably not the most PC thing of all time. I'm judging that. And then people are getting mad that we're fake killing people. It's like, whoa, what do you they, want They here? ride that line. Yeah, they got tits all over the place, but you got to be respectable. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we used to. They, they don't even let us do the the cheers we used to do. Kill, kill, hate, hate, murder, murder, mutilate. No, we can't say those anymore. They don't like it. It's not PC enough. I got it. So I mean, so are you still doing this? I know um, it was shut I down this fall. A couple of years ago, uh, I actually stopped. This year, because uh, of the pandemic, we're not even doing it. So uh, I have a wild question, Eddie. How did you connect with the sheriff? So pretty much I've been going through. I actually reached out. There's a PR on the website. I reached out to the CEO and they were like, no, we're shut down. Uh, we don't want to do it. The CEO's out. And I'm like, well, hey, like, hey, like, we just want to talk about the old times. Like, it's one of our like fam most famous videos. And the PR lady was not happy. She says, again, we are closed. <laughs> so we are not doing any interviews at this time. I was like, OK. All right, like no problem. And then I just oh, yeah, I, they, they I, get very tight on that. Very tight. I hit up Michelangelo. I was like, "Hey, we need to find you know the head of security or someone." And Michelangelo yeah, was able to find the sheriff. So how did you do that, Michelangelo? I used LinkedIn, searched King Richard's Fair, found a, a number of interesting characters, but I recognized uh, a sheriff's face from the video and knew he was the guy. I actually asked him if we could get the uh, head of security on, but sheriff. Uh, said that he had zero sense of humor and would not want to be involved. I, again, in I, I, I would I would take the sheriff at his word because the lecture he gave us was, yeah, yeah. was quite serious, quite humorless, and again, a degree of confusion whether we were talking to anybody with any real degree of authority. It's like it was it was quite confusing that we seemingly were getting arrested yeah. or threatened well, for he fake does. murder. He's actually one of the t local town police officers. Uh, off duty at the time, but yeah, that makes sense because it felt again, it, it felt like two worlds bleeding into one. It's like, wait a minute. I, I, we're not a hundred percent sure what we're getting accused of, like potentially murder in the real world at King Richard's fair with a fake wooden sword. So it, it was a little bit on the confusing side. Yeah. Sheriff, you actually, you came up first and you cited Dave for failing to meet village aesthetic standards. Failure to meet village aesthetic standards. And then, well, big well, I mean, I'm sorry. I did see that. I mean, being that he is supposedly the king of another realm, I kind of was holding him to a higher set of standards. And we both know that was maybe a step higher than a Burger King king. <laughs> I thought I actually dressed fairly appropriately. I, I've watched the video a million times. So, listen, they, we, we, were, we were judged harshly. We were followed closely. Little did we know we had a tail for as long as we did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, that to me is a fairly decent outfit for King Richard's Fair. Uh, fairly. It was a lot better than others. I will give you that much. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what the thing is to me right now, it, it sounds, Sheriff, you're out, and it sounds like you think there needs to be more fun at King Richard's Fair. You think they're a little too tight. It sounds like part two of the video is ready to be made. Sheriff knows the insides of the ground. It sounds like the three guys got to get back together with the sheriff and fucking take over. That's what it sounds like to me. Get the band mm. back together. 
Yeah. You know, this could be, uh, there could be a part two at some point. Who knows? I feel like that could also land us in real jail based on everything we've heard about the, the uh, head of security here. Uh, maybe. But then again, if there's not a thrill, why is it? Yeah, I agree. I agree. And were people stunned, Sheriff, at the end? Was it a big thing after? Because once the video came out, actually, I believe King Richard's Fair sent a, a letter to Dave and Barstool's headquarters in Milton saying, like, hey, like, we're, we didn't know who they were. Now that we know, like, we don't want these guys back. Yeah, we you got remember banned, that? I believe, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm. We, we got banned from there. We got banned from... Uh, amateur boxing in in kentucky as well those are two things that <laughs> that we had neither no no great desire to do again but we got banned from and whatever you win some you lose some yeah i know but hey it's been a while you know it maybe it's been long enough he won't remember you uh, maybe doubtful but Probably maybe not. dave anything else for the no, sheriff no or? i appreciate you coming on it's good to hear the other side of that story uh it's been a pleasure been thank, a pleasure you, sheriff. Indeed. thank you sheriff Thank you, Sheriff.